Well, I've talked about this book several times before. And it's a great book. You know, I use the crap out of it. It's got all kinds of bookmarks and back pages and but a very handy book. Not only for the low data but for all of the other just basic information. Ow! <laughs> that horse bit me. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. It stuck a bite me, bit me in the ass. <laughs> anyway. You know, this has been out for quite some time. And I've been waiting and finally they did come out with the 50th. I kind of knew it was out, but every store I've looked in has been selling the 49th yet. I think they're, they're really pushing them, you know, to move them out to make way for this one. But as you get to have more calibers all the time, you know, all this oddball stuff, <laughs> darn you horse, get out of here now. <laughs> get! Not only does he bite, but he brings a herd of flies with him. But like I say, full of information. A uh, little fans here, in that they actually have you know, photographs of the cartridges. But you still get your basic dimensions and all the loading info. But like I say, the, you know, this stuff up here, uh, you know, the only, it's really handy. The only thing I had against this is always in the load data when they start talking cast bullets, it'll, it'll always be with a Lyman mold. It's kind of Lyman centric. Though, you know, I can almost guarantee most of the people who are casting bullets are probably using Lee mold. But, really good information, and it's always a, a safe bet, you know, when you start trying to load for something, you can go right into, the, into here and, and pick up a really a decent basic load to start right off with. You know, it gives you a good place to start and work from there. I have found, you know, it tends to... Uh, deal with some newer powders that I'm not familiar with but there's always some basic options in here of the IMR stuff usually but there's like I said there's a lot of them I've never heard of so that's where it pays to have you know some of the older books tend to have more of the older information in it and I noticed in looking through here they still don't cover the Swiss, which is to me just weird, you know, uh, it's kind of a, a great gap in there, because that's a really nice gun, you know, it's just odd to leave that out altogether. Werner Gaunt isn't in here either, but they've got good basic data, but like, you know, here, here's a powder like for 170 grain jacket or for Winchester Special. IMR 8208XBR. Never heard of it. Never see it. Uh, a lot of those odd powders, they'll never show up in the store. You'd have to order them someplace else because you aren't going to find them in the store. But there's, most of the time you'll find a basic 4046, uh, 4064, 3031. You know, they always turn up all the time. Oh, and I see in this new one now they do have for the revolution, lever evolution powers. You know, which the people that are into that, you've got that option. So it's good to have. But like I say, I would always, you know, you don't want to get rid of your old books. But it certainly is good to have the new. And for, you know, 24 bucks. Well, we're throwing. Even if you don't reload now, and you're considering reloading, it's something that you can get a lot of tips. Though, like I say, they're really always pushing alignment products. 
almost to the point where they should darn near give, be given the book away <laughs> as a promotional deal. But there's good information in there, and you know, for 24 bucks, it's still a bargain.